you know, Marcus has been limited in his practices uh, due to uh, a situation. And uh, so I would have to say the word incomplete comes to mind. Uh, I know watching tape and, and just a little bit that I had him in the spring, really liked what he did. Um, I do know that if we could get him on a cycle and, and, and get him consistently out there, he would help us defensively. And he, uh, this year, has had to balance being a father with uh, playing football and being a student athlete. What does that say about him as his character? Well, you know, if you've ever met him, you can tell that he's – he, he, he's a fine young man. He's got a lot of uh, integrity about him and what he does and how he does it. Uh, you know, he, he came here from Ohio, had a lot to prove. And, um, and I think, it, I, I say this again, I think he handles things well. If we can, I'm very hopeful that we can get him on a cycle here this week and next week and really, you know, have him, you know, at full capacity where we, we can use him this season. Well, at this point, uh, we're trying to uh, exactly. We're trying to find out, you know, the balance of what he can do and, and and where he's limited, and where we can maximize, you know, what he can give us. You know, whether it's 20 plays, 25 plays. You know, where we, you know, he's multiple. He can play spur. He can play uh, down safety. I think he can play wheel linebacker. So uh, you know, he's he's one of the few guys on this defense in the back end. That has experience, and you know, experience is hard to hard to buy. So, if you look at the secondary, the depth they had in the spring is nine and eight compared to what you have right now with bodies and talent. Is it probably no surprise in your eyes that two um, expected starters next week are two newcomers that just arrived here? Right you know, it doesn't surprise me. Uh, um, you know, we went as soon as I got here. We went to work on that, and and. Um, you know, the thing that I told them today, I've been very, you know, I've grinded them very hard. And I said, you know, I have to treat you guys like, like, um, you know, kindergartners. You know, you know, you leave the room, I got to watch you. You know, you just, everything they do, they're talented. I, and I'm, I'm not denying that. But there's an experience factor. You know, new things come up. And we're doing things offensively. Our work against our offense has been phenomenal. Because today, Joy says, hey, coach, you know, what about when the back comes outside and then he comes back in the box? Do I go back to one? Well, you know, to me, that's elementary, but it's not to him. And, and it was a new thing. And every day, there's a new horizon for him. Uh, and so my answer to that is, hey, let's be sound. Let's be simple and, and, and try to give them a chance to succeed with their ability. Yeah. What, what do you take out of that story and sort of cumulatively having humility? Well, you, you know. I think these junior college well, you know, like like Joey's story. I mean, I've told him this could be a this this could be a potential book. I mean, you look at he grew up, mother died, uh, grandparents took him in. Uh, in Hawaii, they have nothing. Uh, he wants to get an education, and, and so he he calls every junior college in California. His, um, his father you know, has moved to California. And, and everything he's done, he, he's worked for. I mean, there was, there was no recruiting for, for Joey. There wasn't any recruiting trips. I mean, he, he's the only guy on our defense that didn't take a recruiting trip. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I can remember when he, when he was at Mount Sac, was that you know he got behind him. when you're paying your own way you can't take enough hours and, and coaches come in they say boy I like him I know me I was guilty I was at Baylor I said boy I like him I take him but when he said I'm gonna graduate in the summer next you know you say I, I don't have time you know unless you're desperate and, and uh, so when I got here we happened you know uh, Jared Holly who played for me at Pitt told me about he's we have a guy here he goes I think you know him he says he remembers you. You know, all those junior college guys, when you go to their school, I mean, they're like puppies. I mean, if, if you have a, a, I don't care if it's 
uh, Alabama A&M, they will smother you. I mean, they come out of the woodwork. You're a scout, you're a coach, you're a coach. And, uh, you know, Jerry is a personable guy. And um, I think, like I said, I, I just, I like the fact that he, uh, he's very hungry for success. It's nothing's been given to him. And um, then you can take, uh, you know, DeMonte King. You know, DeMonte King came out of high school and, and had some great issues, you're close. And some of the bigger schools, you know, the Boise's, uh, I think a couple of Washington State, they were all looking at him. And then his grades, then Montana State comes in and says, hey, we'll take you. And, uh, you know, he goes there and he said, I'm a better player than this. Goes up there, red shirt, starts as a red shirt freshman. And if you watch his tape at red shirt freshman, he's talented. And then he goes back and uh, they're all, their stories, but uh, like right now, both of them. Joey's a great student. Uh, DeMonte just made a 3-3 in his first summer session. I mean, these guys are serious. They got a little bit more seriousness about them than maybe some of these freshmen coming in that were wild and, you know, taken to, to City Hall and, and, and Ocean Club to eat. You know, these guys hadn't made that. They, you know, they're Dairy Queen and Sonic people. No, I like, no offense, I like, hey, I like them. I'm sort of like me. I get a Sonic every night. Well, what's, up, what's the status of Jalen Bates? Do you expect them in the near future? I have no idea. No, so on that note, Tom, I know you wanted to play Jojo Wicker inside. Would it be fair to say that A.J. Latu playing well defensive end? A.J. Latu playing lights out. He, he is, uh, you know, A.J. Latu is one of those guys that, um, you know, you look at him and you say, oh, okay, okay, you know, he's had a little experience. Then you get him out there and you in scrimmage situations and stuff, you're like, wow, you know, he makes plays. He's got football skill. And um, and I like him. He's a tough kid. You know, a lot of kids would, would have missed further or further along with their elbow than he did. And, and, you know, I look at our D line and we're multiple. You know, you got you got uh, JoJo, they can play a three, he could play nose and a five. He could play devil. All right? You you got ninety, could play three. Five and nose. Uh, you got. Um, I'm really impressed with right now. With, with Rennell Rent has really come back. He could play both insides. Uh, Shannon Foreman could play both insides. Uh, Stewart could play both insides. So, uh, you know, George or George, not George, Stewart, but George. Uh, you know, and Diaz could play both insides. So, uh, I feel good about that. You know, the other thing about AJ. AJ is still, he's the starting end. He's also the backup devil. So we've got, you know, so we've, we've, we've got some options there. Coach, you know, the freshmen who are currently playing the two deep, especially uh, Frederick and Thomas, do you expect them to play in the opener? Uh, you, you know, I don't know yet. I would like them to on good terms. Uh, but but uh, on my terms, I'd like them to play. But, but uh, you know, they're, they're, they're a work in process. Both of them are... are uh, now, 97 will play, uh, uh, and we're working with, uh, with, with 18 to get him better, Fredericks. How many D linemen do you plan on playing in season? You know, I, I would think, um, you know, obviously with JoJo and, and, uh, and AJ, you know, Dud Suttle has gotten the mix. He's done a good job. Uh, there's Shannon, Foreman, Wren. Um, of course, Crump at the Devil. I, I would see probably five or six that we could we could play and, and feel good about. Now I'm the type of guy when you have two guys like JoJo and, and Tayshon, I'm gonna play them. And I told him that. You know, when I was, you know, people asked me. They said, uh, and Todd and I talked about this. I had a kid that was a great player, All American at Baylor, named. Uh, Billings, you know, he played, we played 90, 95 snaps a game. He'd play them all. He was that good and, and that dedicated. You've been around the block a couple times. Have you ever approached the season where you might have two starting players that are really uh, your, your top four players have never played snaps? I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I told you the story at, at Baylor. I mean, I had a kid, I swear to goodness now, 
His name's KJ Morton. We got him in like on Tuesday. And on, on Friday night, he played 90 snaps. And I felt sick after the game. I told my wife, we won the game. It was a great game. Robert, I mean, it was a great game. And uh, I go in there, and, and he is packed in ice. And, and you know, he had, been, he had been in California, in Visalia, California. You know, where it's hot out there. It's valley hot, but it's not. And he is just looking at me, and I said, KJ, you did a hell of a job. And he was just, you know, and he ended up being a great player for me. But, uh, you know, I, I just think that I'm a believer of this. I think talent and willpower, and I think we've got to be smart in what we ask them to do. I mean, what I like, you know, and I've told them this, this is going to be a journey. You know, in, a, in any journey, you're not going to go out and just, you know, exalt everything. You know, I want them to play hard. I want them to play fast. I want them to play smart. And then as we go, you know, there's going to be some, there's going to be some chinks, and we're going to, and we're going to learn, and we're going to grow, and we're going to get better, and we're going to find a way to win. Um, I know Chase Wilkins has been a little rough for him the last couple of weeks. I mean, where do you see him figuring in? Who? Chase Lucas. You know, it, Chase has made a recovery. He, uh, you know, he's he's got. Uh, I, I'm a Chase Lucas fan, you know, um, and and he's got himself back on track. He's got a little, you know. There's always when you switch positions, there's always that doubt. I mean, we um, he's he's not that old. I mean, he he's going to be okay, and he'll he'll be a contributor, without question. Maybe before it's over, might he be a starter? I don't know. Thanks, coach. Okay, thank you. Thank you.